What's going on guys? So, sorry if the audio on this is not the best. Uh, this is just a quick uh, update video, kinda. I have got so much crap going on. I'm trying to catch up with orders. And I don't know if you guys saw the chessboard video, but I have 15 more of them to make. Um, it's gonna, it's a lot of work. But anyway, with that being said, um, I had an issue with my dust collector the other day. And pretty much the issue was that the filter bag on the top, the air cleaner filter from Delta, uh, just pretty much stopped up. I've had to try to clean it out multiple times over the last like week and a half. And honestly, just kind of getting tired of dealing with it. So I finally decided to break down and make a quick down and dirty but effective separator. So I wanted to let you guys check it out and it's a super, super, super easy build. I honestly didn't film it. Uh, wasn't sure if it was going to work like I thought. Um, that's why I'm making this is just to let you guys see how it was made. It was extremely easy. And honestly, it wouldn't have been much of a build video. So here it is. Let me let you guys check it out. So effectively, what I have going on here is, as you can see, I have my dust right collector that is hooked to the CNC. And sorry, I've been cleaning, I've been cutting all day. So as you can see, I've got the uh, one of the Rockler uh, little brush of that attachments up on the CNC. Anyway, um, this hose here goes to the Dust Right three quarter horse, and that is dedicated to the CNC. So this is dedicated to CNC. A little update on it: it's working fantastic, especially for something just for the CNC. Uh, I have the dust boot on the CNC uh, to a two inch, it's a two inch dust boot. The dust boot accepts a two inch hose. So I used one of the Rockler two to four inch adapters and then just run the hose back through to uh, the dust collector. I also put this on a remote that it's plugged in at the bottom. So it makes it much easier when I'm starting up the CNC, just hit the remote and it starts up. Now, this is what I wanted to talk about. Before, all this was on a card. If you guys ever seen these, uh, Delta and I believe Jet and Shot Fox all have one really similar. All this is on a steel frame with some wheels. For one, I love having things mobile in my shop, but honestly, it just took up too much floor. It, it was way too much floor space. It didn't roll effectively, and essentially, it was just in the way. So I thought about just tucking it back in this corner, but the cart and everything was in the way and I didn't like it. And also, I couldn't run this can. It was too large for the base that had the wheels on it. It was too large for the mobile base that this dust collection system was on. So I had to take everything and I mounted it to the wall. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a divider that angles it out, and that's mainly just to get the back end more into the corner and bring this front end out more. Uh, when I took it all apart, I actually rotated this also a couple of bolts over to make this a little easier to access. It doesn't affect my roll-up door, really. Uh, it's sticking into it maybe an inch. Um, but the main thing was to turn this can that had been my pretty much took the place of this bag and turned this into a separator. Now, I have had this on here for about, I want to say three or four days now, and I'm going to open it up and let you guys see how much difference the separator makes, as in how much is in here compared to how much is in the bag back there, which is the normal um, catch for these Delta dust collections. Uh, same thing with the jets and everything. They just usually have the clear bag on them. My bag had holes in it, so I used a really thick lawn and garden bag and looped it over the strap and then taped it, and the strap holds it tight. It doesn't really leak or anything that I found, so that works really, really well. So let's open it up, and I'll show you guys what's inside the separator, and then we'll compare how much is in the separator to how much is in the bag back there. So the hose here that comes down from the dust collection motor is just a standard cheap dust collection hose with a clip. And this goes to a dust port um, plate. 
Now, this is just a cheapo plate. I think they're five or six bucks online. As you can see, this is a central machinery one for like a uh, Harbor Freight central machinery um, uh, dust collection system. And then I used the Rockler hose. Now, the Rockler hose for this has, I've got two ends. I had a, a piece of plastic tubing. If I can get this off here one-handed. I had a piece of the black plastic tubing that fit perfectly into the rocker handle. So my thing was why not have two handles on here if I ever needed it for whatever reason, it's there. But this is actually through into the can. Now I'm gonna open this up and it's probably gonna take me just a second because I have this duct taped as well around the seam. And the reason for this is I just wanted to pretty much ensure that there was no air leaks. Um, this can is nowhere near airtight, um, or at least it wasn't. Uh, it's not too bad now. Um, but with the, there we go, with the duct tape on the can, it pretty much is airtight. Uh, that keeps any of the suction or vacuum from pulling out from underneath this seam. Next thing I did was to put these two screws in. There's one here and one on the other side. And essentially this just holds the lid down. These are just wood screws. Uh, they're nothing special at all. Um, as you can see, they're just standard like inch and a quarter wood screws. And I put two of them on here. And again, these are just to stop the lid from coming off on me. And this is not a magnetic bit. I need to get magnetic bits. Somebody send me a magnetic bit. It's okay. There we go. Okay, now to the nitty gritty. So I'll we'll start by showing you the inside. Pretty much the... I cut this lid so that this sit in there good and tight and then screwed it down and then sealed it with tape on the outside. And then this is just an old piece of PVC I had laying around that I wanted it to drop down just a tad. So I just cut this piece of PVC pretty much and used uh, some really good CA and held it in place. It is on there. It's not coming off. For the inside, so this is the the inlet that the rock or handle goes on and the air comes in and comes out this way. So it's designed to try to circulate the air. Um, now this is a standard baffle design that many of you guys have seen. They're all over. Everybody makes them. My whole thing while making this baffle was I needed the baffle to stay within the can. There was no need of making a system that lifts and lowers out of the can it, and on top of that uh it just didn't seem worth it to take up so much more room in the can to build this large enclosed piece just to drop uh material down into the bottom now you guys might you can correct me if i'm wrong this might be really inefficient i honestly don't know but it works really well as you can see the bottom down there it's got all kind of stuff in it. There's very little up here. As you can see, I'm just moving stuff around here. So there's not a lot right in here, but there is a good bit of material down in there. If I can get the camera to work. There we go. So as you can see, there's a lot of material down in there. Now what I'm going to do is pull the bag, and I will show you guys what the bag looks like inside. If you guys can see down in there, that's the bottom corner of the bag. So there's maybe, maybe a tenth of what is in the actual separator is actually made it over to this bag. Now that's honestly probably a little inefficient uh, for this separator, but that being said, this is a $25 setup with scrap parts that I had laying around and pretty much just cut this baffle design and it works really well um 
I just wanted to let you guys check it out, see what you guys thought about it. Again, uh, I'm going to be upgrading this entire dust collection system one of these days to something a little stronger. And also, I don't like this design here, so that'll all be gone. But this will get me by. It's something that, it, like I said, is extremely cheap. I think these cans are $25 or $30 at most. And then I had some random plastic pieces laying around that really cost me nothing. And that's an old scrap piece of MDF that I used the CNC to cut this baffle pattern out of. And then screwed it to the wall so it doesn't come off. But it pretty much, as the air is pulled in, it does circulate around. And it pulls most of the material down in there. Now again, this is probably not a perfect system. But that being said... I like it and it's cheap and it works really well for what I'm needing. Um, so if you guys like it, let me know in the comments. And yeah, like I said, I put this together in a couple hours and it was just something to fix a problem of this bag filling up with dust and it just loses suction completely. So doing it this way, very, very little fine dust is getting into this bag and the filter is going to stay cleaner a whole lot longer and this is going to work much more efficiently much longer so again quick video sorry for the format and kind of shaky and handheld but i just wanted you guys to check this out before i had to get back to work so i'm going to get back to work now guys and i really appreciate it make sure you guys hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the notification bell go check out the website i'll leave links down in the description below and if you guys are interested in like one of these baffle can setups or something let me know i'll take more detailed pictures on how to do it and throw together a quick plan uh, as well as if you guys want templates or something i might make some templates up for the baffle for one of these 16 inch cans and maybe sell them off you know five ten bucks a piece or something i don't know yet but uh but yeah just let me know if that's something you guys want let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys on the next one later